Have you ever wondered why some relationships seem to work effortlessly while others feel like a constant struggle? Yes, it's a conundrum that many of us have puzzled over. The answer lies in the concept of compatibility. It's the secret ingredient that forms the foundation of every successful relationship. Understanding compatibility is like having a roadmap to healthier, more fulfilling connections. It guides us in selecting the right partners and helps us navigate the ups and downs of a relationship. Now, let's take a step back and explore this concept through the lens of Stoic philosophy. The Stoics were wise folks who had a deep understanding of human behavior and relationships. They believed in living in harmony with nature, accepting things as they are, and focusing on what we can control. By applying these principles, we can gain valuable insights into the dynamics of compatibility. Today, we delve into the seven Stoic signs of relationship incompatibility. The first sign of incompatibility is an emotional disconnect. This is the invisible thread that knits two hearts together in a relationship. It's the shared laughter at a private joke, the unspoken understanding when one is feeling low, the shared joy in each other's achievements. But what happens when this connection starts to fray? Imagine two ships sailing in the night, each on its own course, oblivious to the other. This is what a relationship feels like when there's an emotional disconnect. You may share the same space, but you're moving in different emotional directions. You cease to understand each other's feelings, becoming strangers under the same roof. Take, for example, a couple where one partner is emotionally expressive, while the other is reserved. The expressive partner may feel unloved or misunderstood because their emotions aren't reciprocated in the way they expect. This lack of emotional understanding can breed feelings of incompatibility. Emotional disconnect can create an unseen divide, making compatibility a challenge. The second sign of incompatibility is opposing values. Now, let's not mistake this for a difference in hobbies or interests. We're delving deeper. We're talking about the core principles that guide our lives, the beliefs that form the bedrock of our decisions. Shared values in a relationship aren't just a bonus. They're a necessity. They act as a compass, guiding us together in the same direction. When two people hold fundamentally different values, it's like trying to navigate using two conflicting compasses. One might value honesty above all else, while the other might prioritize ambition even at the cost of truth. These disparities can lead to friction, a grinding, grating tension that wears down the relationship's foundation over time. This isn't to say that people with different values can't be together, but it's undoubtedly a challenge. It requires a deep level of understanding, tolerance and compromise. Without these, opposing values can bring about a clash, turning compatibility into a battleground. The third, fourth and fifth signs of incompatibility are a lack of trust, poor communication and an inability to resolve conflict. Now let's delve into the details. Trust is the cornerstone of any relationship. It's the foundation upon which all else is built. A lack of trust can come from past betrayals, insecurities, or even a history of unstable relationships. This absence of trust can lead to a constant state of unease and suspicion, making it difficult for a relationship to thrive. Next up is poor communication. It's like the telephone lines between two cities. When communication lines are down, the cities can't coordinate, causing chaos and confusion. In a relationship, poor communication can manifest in many ways, not expressing your feelings, not listening to your partner or misinterpreting what's being said. This can lead to misunderstandings, hurt feelings and eventually a widening gap between the two of you. And then we have the inability to resolve conflict. Disagreements are natural in any relationship. What matters is how we handle them. If conflicts are left unresolved, they can fester, turning into resentment and bitterness. Some couples may avoid conflict entirely, sweeping issues under the rug. Others may engage in harmful behaviors like yelling or name-calling. These approaches can erode the relationship over time, creating an environment of hostility and tension. Now, imagine a relationship where there's no trust. Communication is poor and conflicts are a battlefield. It's like trying to build a house on a shaky foundation with weak materials and in the middle of a storm. It's simply unsustainable. 
These signs aren't just red flags waving in the wind. They are blaring sirens warning us of the rocky road ahead. It's important to recognize them, understand their implications and take steps to address them. Because remember, a successful relationship doesn't just happen. It's built brick by brick with trust, open communication and healthy conflict resolution. Without trust, good communication and conflict resolution, compatibility becomes a difficult terrain to navigate. The sixth and seventh signs of incompatibility are a lack of mutual respect and divergent future goals. Diving into the depths of our sixth sign, mutual respect is the cornerstone of any successful relationship. It's the acknowledgement that your partner, like you, is an individual with their own thoughts, feelings and experiences. Respect is listening even when you disagree, understanding when you can't relate and accepting even when you can't comprehend. Imagine for a moment a relationship where one partner constantly belittles the other, dismisses their opinions or undermines their achievements. This isn't a picture of respect, but it's stark opposite. In such a relationship, one partner is on a pedestal while the other is in the shadow. This imbalance can lead to a sense of inferiority, resentment and ultimately a chasm of incompatibility. Now let's journey into our seventh sign, divergent future goals. Picture this, you've always dreamed of a quiet life in the countryside, while your partner yearns for the hustle and bustle of city life. Or perhaps you've always wanted children, but your partner prefers a child-free existence. These are not minor hiccups, these are divergent future goals. When two people envision entirely different futures, it's akin to trying to sail in opposite directions on the same boat. You may love each other dearly, but if your destinations are miles apart, the journey together becomes a struggle, a tug of war. Instead of building a shared future, you find yourselves building separate lives. And in this divergence, incompatibility finds its breeding ground. So as we explore these signs, we realize that a relationship is more than just love. It's respect and understanding, it's shared dreams and common goals. It's navigating life's unpredictable waters together, not against each other. It's about building a future, not just a present. Without mutual respect and aligned future goals, compatibility is but a distant dream. The Stoic philosophy provides us with a unique perspective on these signs of incompatibility. Stoicism at its core is about understanding and accepting the world as it is, not as we wish it to be. This includes our relationships. Stoicism encourages us to be self-aware, to recognize our feelings and to understand why we react in certain ways. It's about observing and accepting our incompatibilities rather than ignoring or resisting them. In the face of incompatibility, Stoicism suggests that we focus on what we can control, our own actions, attitudes and responses. This philosophy encourages us to use these challenges as catalysts for personal growth, to better ourselves and learn from our experiences. So, when we encounter signs of incompatibility, instead of seeing them as insurmountable obstacles, we can view them as opportunities to grow, to improve and to build stronger, more fulfilling relationships. Through the lens of Stoicism, incompatibility can be a stepping stone towards personal growth and better relationships.